Hi guys, Kyle's Aquatics here, uh, bringing you a video today in regards to a planted tank build that I've been planning for quite some time. Uh, this is a 29 gallon uh, with a cheap stand, nothing special, just painted it up to match and uh, we got some different equipment here. Uh, for this build I'm going to be using a uh, Aquion QuietFlow uh, 40 for the filtration, a uh, Fluble Small, I think this is a 50 watt heater, uh, and an Aquion glass lid. Got a little air pump here, nothing special. I think it's a Meyer brand. Um, for CO2, uh, we're going to be running a DIY system uh, using the citric acid and baking soda mix. Um, it's been working pretty well for me so far in my uh, 20 long that I've been growing out some of the plants and um, there's just kind of a dirted tank that I started. Uh, we can go take a look at that right now. This is the 20 long that I was talking about here. We got some Anubias just floating, kind of growing out a little bit here until I can get them planted. Uh, I've been running this CO2 system here using the uh, eBay or Amazon uh, bottle caps with the regulator and needle valve. You can take a closer look at that a little later on. In here we've got some uh, dark red Ludwigia growing and some Asrapins, some Crips, I'm not sure what kind. Um, I believe this is Bacopa, well, I'm not sure exactly. I, I believe it's two different kinds. There's this one here and then this slightly more green one. I'm not sure uh, what the difference is. But just been growing these plants out in preparation. Uh, I've got some uh, just a small grass here and some jungle val in the back that I was hoping to have get to a decent size prior to moving things over. Um, I've also been growing out some more uh, grass over here. Sorry about that. Just trying this immersed thing for the first time as well. Got a couple of stragglers in there from that, uh, I'm not sure if that's Baby Tears or Monte Carlo. Um, but figure that'll go in nice with the aquascape that I plan. Uh, hopefully we'll have some future videos here checking all that out. But for now, this is what we're going to start with and uh, on to the all next Alright guys, so as far as the scape goes here, uh, we're using the Fluval Stratum. I got these rocks local from a uh, creek nearby. Got them all scrubbed down, boiled. I got some more over here for accent stones. Uh, got this nice piece of wood here. We're going to decorate it up with some plants and moss. That'll span across the tank there. Sorry if I'm making you sick. My editing quality is subpar. I'll get better, I promise. So, for now I'm just going to play with these rocks a little bit here. See how, uh, see what we can do with these. Like that. Let's see. How should we put this in here, guys? Maybe something like that on the tank. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it a little bit and see uh, see if I can come up with something I like. Alright guys, I think we got a, a hardscape here that I, I like and I'd like to move on with. Um, these cardboard pieces are in here just to hold the shape. Um, I've got uh, quite a bit of S-Repins here that I pulled from my 20 long. 
Uh, this is going to be the carpet here in the, the upper front corner. So um, it'll be the first plant among, I don't know, maybe six or seven that I'm going to put in here uh, tonight. And uh, we'll get scaping. So I've been growing out this S. Repens for maybe five, six weeks. Um, I bought some as a tissue culture and I ordered some online. Uh, but I, I separated it all into little tiny, uh, maybe five leaf segments, some smaller, and planted each plug in a, a soiled substrate with a sand cap. And I ran a DIY CO2 system, a beams work, 30 inch light, and I use Thrive for macro and micronutrients. But um, I let it grow up for about five weeks or so. And when the carpet growth was insane, but when I went and pulled these plugs out, I mean, these one little stem turned into five or six in some cases. They're huge stems, so I'm just planting each plug as I pulled them uh, for the most part into this substrate here. And uh, I filled the tank just a little bit so the inch of uh, substrate here in the front of the tank will easily accept the plants. Uh, if you don't uh, put some water in there, the it, it's dry, so it tends to roll around. Uh, if you put too much water in, though, the, the roots tend not to go down all the way in, or they'll, they'll easily pop out. So just kind of plant at your own discretion. The substrate in the back, you really can't tell from this angle, but the substrate in the back is much higher. So. All right, guys. The next plant's gonna be uh, this micro sword. If I can get it to focus here, it's a small uh, chain plant here that sends runners out. And pretty much uh, a small blade on each each one that shoots up, and this stuff will reach all the way across your tank. I had it in a 20 long for maybe a month or so. And I had runners stretch already all the way across the tank. There's some huge ones in here. So hopefully that'll make a, a decent sized carpet of these micro swords. Um, the s Reppin's carpet has come along really nice. So I'm looking forward to see how the rest of this uh, turns out. I definitely recommend doing uh, a little bit of research on uh, what plants you you could do. Um, like this micro sword, I had no idea how well it would do. Um, I was pretty pretty surprised when I realized how quick those chains grow. Um, but all the other plants here, I did quite a bit of research on just to make sure that they would grow under relatively low. Uh, low light circumstances and uh, and then if I give them the best condition best optimal conditions that they could get um, you know you hope for best success so we're kind of just playing everything by ear this is my first time uh, actually trying a planted aquascape I had my plant grow out tank and I definitely I'm glad that I did because I bought pretty small amounts of plants and was able to grow them out to uh, a large enough amount to complete this uh, this full scape in this 29 gallon and um, it didn't cost me more than maybe uh, say 30 35 dollars in plants so it's not too bad sorry about that focus guys
All right, guys. Next, we got uh, a couple of the immersed plants I was growing. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Sorry for the focus here. Um, I got them in at Petco as like a tissue culture. I'm not sure if it's like a Monte Carlo or some form of baby tears. And then uh, this grass looks like it sent out some runners, but uh, most of it appears to be these these bunches so I'm going to use these here between the rocks as like an accent and hopefully it will give them a nice look And by the way, I am uh, by no means a professional aquascaper or uh, it just with planted uh, aquarium plants in general. I, I'm really new to this. I usually keep African cichlids. So if you guys can help me out with some of the names of these or if I'm uh, improperly caring for any, please let me know. Um, a lot of this is just kind of um, my knowledge has come from other YouTubers that have helped me out and other people that have suggested some fantastic ideas. So uh, by all means, if there's something, if you have some good advice to offer, I'm, I'm all ears. Next plant is going to be the uh, dark red Ludwigia, and I'm going to get the Bacopa in a minute, but these will be the background plants. The nice thing about these stem plants, and uh, they're, they're all pretty much the same, but uh, they propagate by just snipping them and replanting them. Um, so I bought these, some are the red Ludwigia, others are the dark red Ludwigia, and I planted them together and I, I trimmed them and uh, propagated them together. So I'm not exactly sure which ones are what, but when these things get close to the surface, uh, they are beautiful. And the, the red that they get is pretty, uh, pretty intense, so I just propagated these until I felt like I had a decent enough amount and I'm just going to plug them in here one by one until I fill the uh, background void and that way once this uh, tank starts to fill in a little bit they will act as uh, a background of their own. That'll perk up a lot once we get some water in the tank. Uh, the next plant that's going in is some form of Bacopa. And I'm not sure what this is. I had initially thought it was Bacopa, but after seeing some pictures today, I've seen some other plants that look awfully similar. So it's nice and green. We'll put it in the tank, see how it looks once it's all in there. And if I don't like it, we can pull it out. I also added in some jungle val into the center 
Um, for some reason they weren't growing runners in my 20 long, so hopefully they'll do a little bit better on this substrate. Uh, they usually say to, uh, when you plant these, to pick off the lower maybe uh, four to six leaves and that way when you plant them in the substrate, roots will grow from where those leaves uh, were plucked. But the key is not to rip them off downwards, but to kind of like pluck them off with your, your fingernail. Otherwise, uh, you can just rip the whole stem completely. Uh, so I, I plucked these and planted them down maybe two centimeters into the substrate, maybe a little more. I've also got some uh, nice, they're like a maroonish uh, crypt that have been growing pretty healthy, stemming out some runners as well that I plan to put uh, as like a mid-ground plant right around the base of the piece of driftwood that, that will be in here. Uh, but I also have some small Anubias. It's not the, the Nana, it's more of a medium size I suppose. Uh, but I'm going to try to incorporate that uh, along with some moss on the driftwood. Here we are doing the first fill. I'm sure many changes, water changes to follow. All right, first fill's complete. Uh, the piece of driftwood is taken out because I'm attaching some moss to it and uh, water logging it so it will sink. Uh, but so far everything's looking pretty good. I'm excited to see how it all grows in. Uh, thanks for joining me. I appreciate you watching.